It's a freezy day out there today, but uh, we are uh, so pleased to be with you. The Lord has blessed us. We are here with you one more day, one more program, and thank the Lord for that. Um, International Academy of Flint, if you've been watching the news a little bit and reading the paper a little bit, M Live, as well as the Flint Journal front page, I might add, front page, you might have a little seen a little something called cream of the crop, cream of the crop. And uh, this is a repeat of uh, what uh, our International Academy of Flint was able to do last year. We are one of the top schools in the state of Michigan based upon uh, some research that was done through Bridge uh, Magazine in Lansing that they contracts with, with a, another organization. And they publish uh, on the top, uh, well, they list all the schools in the state, actually. And International Academy of Flint was listed, uh, I think it was number 12 in the state of Michigan, in the state of Michigan, and listed number one in Genesee County based upon a, uh, a VMI, a value, a VAM, value added matrix, which accounts for more than, more than just test scores. It takes into consideration, uh, you know, uh, numbers of one parent families and, and the income levels and free and reduced lunch and blah, 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 some other factors as well. But once you weigh all that together, Pastor, once you weigh all that together, we came out on top because it basically it says, International Academy, you are doing better than you should be. You're beating the odds. We've received that award several times as well. So that that's a good thing. Our staff was very pleased. Our, our, our teachers work hard. They really, really do. Every district will tell you that. And uh, our, ours truly, truly do. And uh, we have a good program, a good method, a method, a system, a method of instruction that is effective, uh, and particularly uh, in urban situations. So it's working. You can't deny that. And we're putting kids in college every single year. And that young lady sitting down your immediate right, Pastor, bless her little soul, uh, we hope to put her in college as well, naturally, yes, with your assistance. Yes, well, Pastor, I'm babbling away here like an old yeah. goat. <laughs> and, and don't you don't you laugh out there? Don't you laugh out there, audience? <laughs> I'll let you settle down. I know you're giggling. Okay. And uh, why don't we open as we do, and wherever we have a pastor, my good friend, this is Pastor Alvin Brown. And Pastor, if you would be so kind to open us in prayer, we would be deeply honored, sir. Amen. Thank you. Yes, sir. Shall we pray? Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we come now in the name of Jesus, thankfully and forgivingly, ask you to forgive us, O oh God. And right now, O oh God, as we praise you, O oh God, for your marvelous, your wonderful, your magnificent, and there is none like you. Mm -hmm. And God, as we all look upon the Lord this day, O oh God, we thank you for it, O oh God, the day we've not been through before, but we know you'll take us through. And O oh God, we just pray, O Lord, for the power and overpowering the Holy Spirit, Father God, we're going right now. They might lead and guide us as we go along the way. Mm -hmm. We, O oh Lord, just pray for our loved ones, our friends. We pray for this radio station. We pray for our oh, Lord and for Jesse, O oh Lord. We pray for Paul. We pray for Nia and myself, O oh God, as we go about this here radio program, Father. Lead us and guide us. We don't know what to say, O oh God, but we know that you're able, Lord. And, oh, God, just touch every family, Father God, that has students at International Academy, every staff member, every, everyone who serve in any type thank of way, you, Father thank God. You, and, oh, God, we just thank you for them all, oh, God. And now, God, we just leave us here in your hands, oh, God. We go for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Amen to that as well. And thank you so much yeah. for praying for all of our students, all of Flint, really. But, yeah. of course, our, we're mainly concentrated on those wonderful kids that come to us every single day. Well, not lately. <laughs> it's been a little raggedy here with the weather, but uh, we, we are so pleased to have the privilege of uh, doing our best for them. So thank you very kindly. And, um, uh, Pastor, you know, when I introduced you, I forgot to mention your church. Now, you tell folks, if you don't mind, let's get a little commercial here. I, I won't charge you too much. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe a buck 380 or something like that. Okay. That's fine. So, yeah, tell us about the church, where it's located, and um, anything else that would be of interest to the audience, sir. The Messiah Evangelistic Center. Uh, right now, we just meet in our home. Okay. Um, and we a place that we're going to set up... Uh, is on Mott Street once we begin a fundraising program mm -hmm. uh, sometime in April. And we actually have, have you got a building then picked out on Mott or a block? Uh, it will be in a house that we'll be okay. to okay. convert it into a church. A church, very good. Uh, and also to use this as like a multi purpose center to have some activities for the community and 
things oh, to go on there. That would be great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's great. Um, Nia, uh, Nia is his daughter, of course, a beautiful sixth grade young lady. Um, what, well, as far as the church is concerned, what, what do you do in, in the church other than attend every Sunday, most likely? Are, are you active in some? Do you have a youth group that you work with? No, not really. Okay. Um, the congregation is, uh, you meet every Sunday then, isn't okay. it? Okay. Well, we're really just starting to make up uh, the reason why, because in my ministry that the Lord has uh, given me, uh, it's not just for pastoring, but in other areas, because as you know, there are uh, fivefold gifts that you might have heard, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. from a pastor, evangelist, prophet, pastor, <coughs> teacher, and of them, uh, though it's many times they me in the area, the prophet, uh, and doing different things. So most of the time I've been in ministry uh, for uh, probably over 30 years. I have spent that time, whenever I would start something, mm -hmm. I stopped for a minute because the Lord would show me mm -hmm. before I do it to go out and carry out some assignment mm -hmm. and being available to other churches in the area. And uh, I might have went to some churches and been there and served for two or three years, mm -hmm. others for a few months. And the longest time I was at a church, uh, no, as Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. Oh, heard of it indeed. Now Greater yes, Galilee, mm -hmm. pastor by uh, Pastor Latrell Holmes. Indeed. And so indeed. this has been part I, I of ministry. I know Pastor Holmes quite well. Yes, He's a very and, fine man. Yes, indeed. indeed. He's very involved in, in more than the church. He's a neighborhood and a city involvement as well. Pastor Holmes, uh, yes, I'm quite aware of him. God bless him. Yes, sir. Yeah. And other churches like uh, St. Paul under the uh, Pastor Mil Milton Henderson, uh, where mm -hmm. I served about two years. Well, I spent most of my time in Galilee under Pastor mm -hmm. John Boy, the late John Boy, for about 20 years there. And so many times I just laid down some things that I probably would have stepped out personally, mm -hmm. but there was a greater <coughs> need or God had need a meal at some of those places. Gaining experience and uh, waiting for the calling, waiting for uh, the calling. And now you may have that calling. I mean, I don't yes. question more naturally, but yes. Okay. I learned that. <laughs> well, that's yeah. That's that's great. Um, how when the church opens? How? Uh, what do you think your congregational numbers will be? Uh, probably about uh, eleven to twelve. Okay, just a very out. small little little cluster yes. of folks, and you'll grow from there, of course. Yes, yeah, that's great. That, that's just wonderful. Um, that's real good. Well, listen, Pastor, we, we appreciate you being on the program, of course, and talking about the church. Let me maybe switch direction just a little bit. You've got a great daughter with us. I, I think she's on the honor roll, I, I kind of heard. So that's a, we, we are honored for the fact that she's doing so well. Um, what do you, the way we teach children, and are you, I think you're pleased with this. Can you comment about that a little bit? Uh, yes, Nia has been attending International Academy for several years now, uh, and <coughs> she enjoys it a great deal, and I enjoy the, the curriculum. It's mm -hmm. very, very great, along with the uh, teaching staff. Okay. And okay. the school keeps us on top of a lot with the right? telecall. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, good hair. Because almost a day does not go by, we get a call, you know. Okay. And like I said, uh, we appreciate that because it keeps us on top of what's mm -hmm. taking place at International. Okay. I'm doing the yeah, the, no matter how, you know, there's three parts to, to, to really educating a child. Of course, it's the child's effort themselves, our involvement with the parent, and then our role as, as an instructor in the institution. So once those three elements work together, there's going to be success. I and mean, naturally, without a parent at home as, as diligent as you are and as prayerful as you are, sir, um, that uh, that certainly helps the whole process m in a major way. Now, your daughter's a little quiet, Pastor, so we're going to um, see if we can get her to talk a little bit. Um, and that's fine. We respect that <laughs> during the school day, but on the radio, <laughs> we need to jump and shout a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, Nia, your favorite subjects are... Fill in the blanks. Oh, math, English, Spanish. Spanish? Wow. Uh, can you say something in Spanish to me? Mm. Like, go buy a taco or something. <laughs> 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 you like
like Spanish, obviously. Okay. Who's your Spanish teacher, by the way? Mrs. Oh, sure. Very good. Sir. Yeah, she's been around for a while with us. We love her. Sure do. Um, also, um, your uh, you got some hobbies? Some things you want to talk about? No. No hobbies. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Leah, you come every day. You come by bus, don't you? Yeah. In fact, we're going to try to work something out here with Pastor to get a stop a little bit closer. We. I know you uh, You have a long walk, and we're going to try to work on getting a, a bus stop closer to you. Um, but anyway, um, Nia, you, have you thought a little bit about um, maybe what direction you'd like to go when you get out of school? I know it's about, what, seven years away yet, or five anyway. Um, no, it's more than that. You're in six. It's more six years. But 12 minus six is six. Is it still? Okay, yeah, I'm really good at this. Uh, are you thinking about what you might like to do? Well, I started like nursing a little bit because really? when I used to go to the doctor with my mama, I used to like to help the nurse give shots. She, the nurse lets you see how that went on then, huh? Get the shots and all. All right, that's good. Um, and I, that's fine. I encourage you to get into medical career. You'll always have work pretty much because, you know, people generally don't stay healthy all the time, but I'm encouraging you, you're an honorable student, and maybe you could think about becoming a doctor. In addition, you know, maybe start out with a nurse as your goal, but if you are an honorable student at our institution, you may want to think about being a doctor or some other capacity, because, um, you know, if, if you have that ability, always, um, you know, press yourself to, to do a little bit better. And uh, nurses are so valuable. Without them, you know, doctors wouldn't exist. But if you have the capability, uh, we're just encouraging you to maybe think um, think uh, stronger. Um, have you kind of looked at colleges? You want to stay locally here with uh, in, in Flint, or yeah. you're thinking that w which one are you thinking of right now? Maybe you will them or not. Okay, yeah, that's many of our kids do that. Sometimes only because of finances, the pastor. Yes. They end up at Mott for, um, well, of course, it's a, it's a great school. They're rated among the best in the nation, and we commend them for that. Besides their basketball team, which is always rated in the top five or three or two or even one, and, of course, they've been national champions a number of times. But um, it's such an, a, a, an economical benefit to, to go to Mott and then slide into, in two years or so, the, the U of M program or the Kettering or wherever. Yes. So that that's a that's a plan that's worthwhile thinking about. So th I'm glad you're thinking that way. Um, who's your math teacher, if I could ask? Mrs. Thomas. Oh sure, oh sure. And her husband uh, teaches what in our school? Jim. Jim, you have him too. Okay. Does he te He doesn't teach Jim. He doesn't teach math and Jim, does he? No. Uh, rascal. He told me he was doing that. Okay. <laughs> With jumping jacks, making you count jumping jacks. That's math, right? <laughs> well, uh, kind of a roundabout way, I guess yes, it, it is. is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Uh, favorite things you like to do? Mm, sometimes I like to draw. Really? Okay. Uh, howdy, sir. How are you doing today? We've been interrupted here. Somebody rudely walked in the studio. <laughs> How you doing, big guy? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Okay. <laughs> Just embarrassing you to pieces. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, did, what do you draw? People or, or scenery or? Um, yeah, I'm like scenery. Scenery. Okay. Folks, I forgot, Pastor, I forgot to give our phone number here if there's somebody would want to call in, 239-5733. Is that right, Jesse? 239-5733. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Jesse's a lonely man. Call him. <laughs> call Jesse, 239-5733. And if you if you got absolutely nothing to do, Paul Herring here is playing here on his, on his cell phone, iPod, email, whatever. Email. Yeah, he's connected directly with the White House, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a call, and uh, Paul will talk to you, too, with his fine uh, program that he provides everybody every day. He'll come out and film your events, your uh, weddings and uh, other things, birthday parties. Bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs. I even got a funeral. He has a, if you had a funeral. I had a wow. funeral, yeah. Yeah I, I, yeah, I believe that, sir. I, I mean, that's, that's significant. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I yeah. We broadcast it over the Internet so people in Seattle could be there. Wow. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I, I don't know if the folks heard him, but he, that, he filmed the funeral. It was, it was, he sent it over the Internet to mm -hmm. people in Seattle who couldn't come to the funeral. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Couldn't wonderful. do that 100 years ago. No. Wow, that's quite a unique utilization of technology. 
That's marvelous. Very good, Paul. Thank you. And you thought I was just playing games. <laughs> uh, normally you do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Paul Herring, no. let's, uh, can you make sure you are picked up here, because we want to make sure the radio people hear you. Um, your son, uh, we've played some games here recently, haven't we, sir? Yes, Basketball. I was at the first home game. Let, let, let's give him the mic and let him brag about something. Oh, uh, well, you know. Born to death, folks, but let him go. Uh, <laughs> uh, my son didn't play at all. He sat on the bench. Why is that, sir? The, I'm lying. I thought so. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. He played he a, a great deal. Football. Yeah, I don't even know how many points he got. I was just so proud of him. They did so good. Yeah. I mean, it was like 102 or something yeah. to 12. I don't know. They really... <laughs> <laughs> we, we played Mother O'Toole's Snitty uh, School. Yeah, right. yeah, I think the wheelchairs handicapped well, the other had, team. They had almost 70 points. Did they have 70 points? Yeah. It was a fabulous game. I mean, <coughs> I, I, I'm not really a sports fan, but I enjoyed watching the people enjoy it. Yeah, it was a wild place. And, you know, I, sat on, the, um, I sat on the visitor side, of course, mm -hmm. you know, so I could eavesdrop. Well, we don't want day. you on ours. That's, <laughs> <good>. <laughs> That's what you they said. <laughs> <laughs> but it was wonderful. I, I need to know when the next home game is because oh. I, I plan on being there lock, stock, so and glad I don't know, but I th I, we have two or three this week. Just boom, 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 right in a row. I, I, it might be Monday. Really? <clears throat> and I also Paul, heard... Uh, sure. um, if anybody um, has the schedule out there, I'm unprepared to answer this question. If you know the schedule, come on, call in, 239-5733, so Paul can attend this uh, game to see his son play marvelously. So oh, it was, it was fabulous. I videotaped. Yeah. I made little funny clips out of it. I had a ball. I'd like to see the funny clips. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, Marcus has it on his phone. Just okay. pull it aside, and he'll show it to you for sure. Part of the funny clip was probably you walking in the stands trying to get up. It was something down. about you. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put you on the young kid's hey, body that did the slam it, dunking. It, it, oh, the end of the <laughs> Talking about yeah. prayer. Let's get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Paul, um, so much. Clarissa, I heard, did wonderful too. Oh, she did. And your well, team, the point. two out of the three, are the world champions yeah. now or something? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not up on that. But Clarissa definitely won. Our, okay. Um, our Yay. basketball coach Ed Kendall, you may Kendall? know many right. of you, is yeah. also one of her uh, coaches, and mm -hmm. he uh, uh, accompanied the Burston team to uh, Spokane or somewhere Seattle, yeah. Seattle mm -hmm. and they participated and we ended up with a few. Clarissa won, of course, and I think someone else got a... The young man won. One, not man, okay. And then others placed. Right. That's very significant. That's great. Little old Flint. Little old Flint. Yeah, we're making, uh, making them know. We've had so many professional athletes come out of here. Pound for pound, size for size, we might be leading the nation. I'm not mad at you. I think athlete. we'll do something for her at Juneteenth, some kind of celebration. Because, yeah, nice. I mean, you need a parade when you win something like that, okay. right? Yeah, Juneteenth. What month will that be held in, Paul? Um, I think it's <laughs> in <laughs> August. Is it, is it, is it <laughs> February? Uh, it might be in June. Well, I don't know. I have to check my calendar. What a clever uh, concept that is, having <laughs> yeah. a Juneteenth celebration in June. June. Pastor, can you run with that one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's we'll put you and me on, on a float. Okay, okay. well, we'll you just look at Juneteenth. You can participate in June, Pastor, and you could be advertising your... Your um, uh, Messiah Evangelistic Center, yes. if things had went well. You'd oh yeah, we love we love call? to have everybody in the parade. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> one of our programs is a, um, and it's I don't know if it's po politically correct or not, but our goal was to bring as many churches as we could down into Riverbank Park, so people could do their church shopping. You know, if you don't have mm -hmm. a church home, it would take you know twenty years to go to mm -hmm. every church on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. But if we had them all in Riverbank Park and you could just come down and shake the pastor's hand, meet the choir, see what was going mm -hmm. on, you could just, you know, really pick up some congregation. Mm -hmm. One know? stop fits all. That's there what I'm, that, okay. I mean, that's, you know, my that's twisted mind. That was my idea. I support um, that thought. Yeah. It hasn't, it hasn't uh, gone off <laughs> as well as I thought it would, but uh, I'm going to keep you, trying. How many did you get down to in June? I think we got four or five last year. Okay. Five different churches down there last oh, year. There that's and that's not including the ones that participated on stage. Uh, you know, those right. were the ones that yeah. set up tables. Okay. Right. So, you know, it's a start, but I, I thought it was brilliant. You right. know, I'd like to be able to stop by, shake your hand, sure. uh, you know, meet the first lady, see what you guys are about, and make a decision in, in, in two hours instead of ten years. Okay. okay. <laughs> the concept is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's how I look at uh, International Academy. I was thinking about it later. Oh, like, thank you. It yeah. is a one-stop school, <laughs> you know, K-12. Oh, yeah. Good place yeah. to be. Yeah. You can get it all right there. Yes, and we have several kids, that, or more than several. Every year now, we've had kids that have gone through, from K through 12. We acknowledge them. I think we had six or seven this past 
year out of the graduating class, which is significant with all the movement in Flint. You know, we're yes. a very transient city, for back and forth and such. But that uh, six to seven to eight kids hung in there from K through 12. And yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Pastor. That was yes. very significant. Yes. All in the same building. Yes, all in the same building. Kindergarten through grade 12. That's, uh, thank you for yeah. reminding us yeah, of so that. Yeah, so much to offer here. It fits fact, in. Paul, while the camera's here, I'm going to hold up this uh, cream of the crop thing. I wanted folks to see this in the Flint Journal. I'm assuming you want me to zoom in uh, on it? If you could do your little zoomer. Yes, cream of the crop. And we're listed there among, um, they list the top five. and. They also list the bottom five, and we won't talk about that, but we're in the top five, and we're very pleased. In fact, we're number one in Genesee County, and I don't mean to belabor that, but our teachers work so hard. Our kids, Nia, Nia, our, our child at the table right now, uh, is one of many. She's on the honor roll. That doesn't just happen at our school. That's a very special acknowledgment. So we commend you publicly Nia, for working hard and getting on the honor roll. That's, that's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And uh, Jesse? Yes. You know, we had a call? No? no? No. No, okay. Two, three, nine. I guess I'm like Matt Damon. I get seven, the end of the show. Three, three. Okay. <laughs> two, three, nine, five, seven, three, three. Okay. Well, Pastor, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, what well, you have quite a history. And I don't know, you shared a little bit about that in the car. Uh, I don't know if you wish to go into that, but you did a little bit with your, um, you know, your experiences at the other churches. Um, what have you taken from that, what um, the things that you've learned, how do you think that will strengthen your ability to lead a congregation, Pastor? It's kind of an open-ended question, so respond any way you like, sir. Well, I understand uh, many of the positions and the things that happen in church, and also from it, have learned that people have different personalities and mm -hmm. so we have to learn how to deal with those personalities at different levels. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of compassion. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is uh, our model, you know, our church mm -hmm. is a church of compassion. We serve a compassionate God because we look at the mercy of God and how he's merciful to us no matter where we are, what we've done in mm -hmm. life. God shows mercy to us, whether it's the sinner or the saint, and he loves us all. And that's how we should deal with individuals that come into our church, into our congregations, mm -hmm. is to show them love, to show them compassion, to be open-armed to everyone, no matter mm -hmm. what their background is, to be willing to forgive and to love, because mm -hmm. that's how God is to us. And when I really look over my life as far as getting into the ministry and being in the ministry. There have been so many things that brought me forward from the time I was 12 where I uh, was thinking of becoming a priest, but things happened that mm -hmm. took me on a whirlwind and then, uh, around before a, a cycle, before I arrived where I'm at now, mm -hmm. uh, and that brought me in touch with uh, a number of individuals in different walks of life, whether politics or whether on the streets or what have you, mm -hmm. God has allowed me to be around and congregate with them or drink the wine with them in some mm -hmm. way uh, among them, whether they're local officials or like Floyd McCree, uh, Edgar Hope, uh, individuals like that mm -hmm. who have contributed so much to our community. Uh, the times it was model cities, I don't remember them or not. I do. And the things that were going on in our city. Uh, to that of being involved in politics myself and uh, something I had said then and that's why I said he mm -hmm. offers a prophet uh, I said uh, in a meeting with the uh, CAP Council that we look at the situation today Jim, not like it was in Flint one time uh, speaking of diversification is part of my platform mm -hmm. because the Lord showed me that you know uh, General Moses was going to be here always Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I wouldn't believe it. But when we look around today, we know that they're long. Yeah, that's, that's prophecy. If you knew that, and that was then. like back in '72. Sure. That's when we were really booming. Yeah, yes. we had around 198,000 people right then in '72, '73. Yes. Yeah. And you look at how the city has really, I know, just in the area that I grew up in, and same area that I'm staying in now, uh, we had uh, a lot of businesses. There stores, mm -hmm. uh, donut shop, restaurants, a mm -hmm. department store. Uh, around industrial and stores in that area. Mm -hmm. 
And so, so much was going on. Like I said, the plane was really booming and all, but now we are in a unique position, but uh, we have to be, where we have to be prepared for different areas mm -hmm. as far as whether it's academically, educationally, uh, in the field of technology. There's so many things that uh, we should get grab a hold of. But in spite of the disconnection, somewhat is taking place when we look at the uh, lifestyle of things that take place and uh, young people's what have you and things like that. There's been a disconnection and we have to find a way to reconnect the disconnected, mm -hmm. whether young or whether old. Well, part of that disconnection is uh, uh, education. Yes. Meaning, not that it's an education is a tool to reconnect the disconnection. I think yes, that's sir. a good way to put it. And the more education children have, the better opportunity they're going to have. It's, it's very clear to you know, to make an advance out of the condition they're in, improve their, their own personal lot, and become a practical and uh, contributing society, a member of society as they go through life. And our goal in, in getting kids through International Academy, our, we've hung our hat on college preparation. Yes, yeah, that's what we're intending to, and we'll continue to do that. If you got a long outro, <coughs> do it now. We, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse's warning me. From, Jesse's warning yes. me, so we always yeah. close off in a certain way. Nia, are you going to holler a little bit with us here? You got to warm up now with the ooh wee thing. Can you get ready? Here we go. Are you ready? Folks, are you walking a dog, sitting in the fog, or working on a computer on a blog? Or are you leaping like large, loquacious, lumpy leg, lively leprechauns, lazily lounging with lovely, legalized llamas, leisurely licking lemons for lunch while laboring with laryngitis, and logically learning how lawyers are loopy and lopsided, lacking a laundry list of lucrative locations in London, Libya, or Lebanon, then look at somebody and say, Ooh, -wee. Ooh -wee. that is some, some kind of school. school. Bye, everybody. Juneteenth, a time to reflect and rejoice. Join the village. Celebrate African American Independence Day.